everybody, this is Jen from the Garden Jen's Journey. Leaping lima beans. We have lots of lima beans. I'm going to take you over to my lima bean area uh, where I'm growing the Christmas lima bean this year. And it's actually part of my single seed challenge. And I'm just going to show you what the lima bean patch looks like and what that single seed looks like as it's all grown up now. So let's go on over to the lima bean patch. Now I've taken some time and I cut down some of the extra lima bean vines and some of the leaves so you can actually see what the lima bean patch looks like. So this is the lima bean patch. This is my dog run. You can see my dogs in here just chilling out. So this is their pen during the day when they can come out and get fresh air and exercise. But uh, it also serves as a trellis for beans and other vining plants. So, uh, like I said, I grew the Christmas lima bean this year. This fence is uh, 8 foot tall, the uh, fence part. And then the posts are 12 foot tall. And the plants have actually grown way up there and come back down. So the vines were about 12 to 14 feet long, which is normal for lima beans. Um, I did some research on it because I was like, wow, these are overachievers. But lima beans are known for growing very long vines. So 12 to 14 feet um, was basically how long these guys grow. But like I said, I, did, uh, I trimmed away a lot of the vines that were uh, dangling down that didn't have uh, pods on them. Trimmed away some of the the foliage so you can actually see all the pods that are on here. <clears throat> this plant is just loaded with these pods. And you can harvest the pods green once they get nice and plump like this guy. He's nice and plump. You can harvest them green and cook up some fresh lima beans. Some people call those butter beans at that time. Um, if you want or what I'm doing a lot of people do is you wait until the pods are dry and then you shell them and uh, you can keep them uh, for use for later in the season. Um, so that's kind of my, my um, idea here was to grow a bunch of lima beans so I can dry them, preserve them, and have them for over the winter. My husband's a big lima bean fan. I am not. So the amount of beans that's on this plant here will feed my husband all winter long. Now going back to the single seed challenge, um, I did uh, the, the lima beans here and I started a couple of beans and the one bean that I had started that I had marked had died, it was killed off by a frost. So I went ahead and marked another seed that was starting to grow and that is the seed that I uh, followed um, up until now. So we're going to follow this, this plant that did survive and uh, we're gonna go from there. So it starts down there. I've tried marking it as it goes with zip ties because you know vines, they just go everywhere. <clears throat> and then I've uh, kind of kept the pods away that don't belong to the vine so we can keep an eye on how many pods this vine produces. But here's our first set of pods from this one. And you follow it up. We got it's more up here and it keeps going way up there and then I lose track because the vines are all just twisted together up there. But um, this has produced quite a few vines that I can uh, actually say are on this plant. Um, so it's done very, very well um, for being the single seed. You can see the nice giant size seeds in those pods there. Let's see if we got that one. That one's actually got three pods in it there. There's, there's three beans in it. So for um, the, this plant, it is done very well, and I will be able to use the seeds from this one to plant more next year. But yeah, that's, this is what lima beans look like. So you need a lot of room if you're going to grow lima beans. So I'm going to show you a pod here, see if I can do it on camera. It's difficult with one hand. I'm going to just pop it off there, get rid of that extra stem. And just break it on open. Again, it's a little more difficult to do with one hand, so give me a minute here. Alright. So this 
is the Christmas lima bean. Isn't it beautiful? It's a nice red and white lima bean. Whoops, I just dropped it. But uh, yeah, that is the Christmas lima bean. So you can cook, like I said, you can cook them fresh when they're in the, the pods are still a little green. You can cook them fresh. You don't have to soak them or anything. Or when you let them dry like I'm doing, you soak them just like a regular bean and then cook them up for your meals. So that's the single seed update. This is my lima bean patch. Leaf and lima beans. We have a lot of them. <laughs> Alright everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye.